Welcome back to News and Details. Prime Minister Mustafa Madboudi held a meeting with Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research Ayman Ashour on Tuesday to review the Ministry's national mega projects. The meeting pro progress made in implementing international semi private universities, including the King Salman University branches in Sharm el Sheikh, Ras Sidr, and the Tour, as well as technology projects. The Minister reviewed undergoing digital transformation and IT infrastructure upgrade projects, including the Digital Egypt's Cubs initiative. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held talks on Tuesday with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, in Moscow. The talks tackled several issues of mutual concern in the international and regional levels. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held talks with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, in Moscow on Tuesday. A joint press conference following the talks, Shukri affirmed that Egypt and Russia aim to enhance bilateral relations to service interests of their people. The top diplomat pointed that the size of the commercial exchange had increased. Concerning the Palestinian cause, Shukri stressed the necessity of avoiding any violence escalation to reach a permanent and just settlement to the Palestinian cause. For his part, Lavrov said both countries had agreed on a number of investment projects such as al Taba nuclear power station and the Russian wheat deliveries to Egypt. The Russian minister emphasized that there is military cooperation and joint trails between both countries. Lavrov said they had discussed means of settling the financial Libyan crisis and the need for inter-Libyan dialogue among parties regarding the Syrian file. Lavrov said the two countries aim to reach reconciliation among the Syrian parties. As for the escalating situation in the occupied Palestinian territories, the Russian minister reiterated that Cairo and Moscow aim to reach a comprehensive settlement to the Palestinian cause. He pointed that Russia had displayed the current stance in the Ukraine crisis upon a request from Egypt. <laughs> 